All right, kids, back at the compound. I got my daughter with me. I got uh, It's all about the scrap. <clears throat> this thing is all pretty much filled, except it's not filled densely. It's it's filled, but I just couldn't. Kind of a disappointment. Not a whole heck of a lot I could do about it, though. But I got something that's going to help me out. Steel shelves for the win. By the way, the scrapyard is kind of far away. By the time I get there, here's some proof. That's the position of the sun. Be closed by this. See how far along on the horizon the, the sun is. It's about 4 15. So, yeah, by the time I get to the yard, they'd be closed anyway. Ooh, I think we're gonna have problems getting this out. Have a seat, kids. Uh oh, this is not opening. We got troubles. I brought my uh, my air tank with me just in case, you know. I have a flat tire or whatever. But yeah, there we go. I tell you about this stuff; it's pretty heavy. Look at that, and they got a whole lot more. Look at that squatting like that. They told me I could fill this truck three or four times if I want to come back. I'm not going to say where it came from because if there's some local scrappers and they find out where it came from, then by the time I get there, they'll all be gone tomorrow. Because this, this stuff is late. This stuff is literally laying out in front. I'm surprised nobody else has seen it. It's actually stacked all the way like in front of the store and behind the store. I can't believe another scrapper hasn't possibly seen this. I mean, you could actually see it from the street. I mean, behind the store you can. But, just in case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I got all of this material and then I'll upload the video and make it public. But yeah, that's it. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to show just this and then like, oh, it got really windy and it just went back to camera. Sure, you know what I would do? I would just take this straight to the scrapyard if I could. Even though I get less per ton for it, but it is what it is. Alright, give me a hand here. Gotta get the kid out away from the away from her iPhone there. The guy gave me some gloves too. I was like, I don't wear gloves. I'm like, my hands are like gloves already. Really. Oh, it's getting really windy. It's gonna knock that phone over. Yay! 
Yep. And back the phone over. You're upside down. There you go. You were upside down for a second. They, they got a roller coaster ride. Make yeah. sure you don't throw up. The phone fell over. <laughs> they gave me gloves well, they too. They gave you gloves too, yeah. I don't really like the texture of these gloves. I really don't like gloves. Kinda I don't like gloves either. Surprisingly, I have very soft hands. And I wore, like I said, I work in a warehouse and I don't wear gloves there either. No, I, yeah, I don't wear I'm supposed to, but I don't. You would work faster if you had gloves, yeah, right? No, I actually wouldn't. I think I work slower. Same thing like with my whole dance stuff. Like if I dance with my hair down, Yeah. I feel like I work slower. I have to put my hair up. I think so too. If you have hair down, you know, if you're a girl, you're going to go slower. Way. I can't eat. I'll eat slower. I can't. Yeah. I feel, and it's just me because other people can do it. Like, other people can eat with their hair down. And, yeah, um, I don't see how. There's something about me where it's like, it gets in my way. I'll just wear them. <clears throat> All right, who, this is what we're going to do. I guess we'll try and fill the crevasses. The crevasses. I don't know what's with me and wanting to close the door, but if we close the door, we can just throw it over the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If and we close the door. Into, like, the I guess we could, but and right now we'll just try to fill the crevices and then we'll close the door. Yeah. Right? Yes, no? Whatever you want. Because it'll turn into a big jingle jangle. Like, there's a huge space, like, right along there. All right, well, I'm going to record a little bit of this, and then I'm going to I'm going to get down to the real work. You guys can sit here and, and watch. Is this upside down? The camera seems like it might be. Stand over there, and I walk it to you. I don't know. Let's try a couple of different lazy man tactics. You want me to throw it on the ground, and then you pick it? That's like, I don't really care. I'm trying to get all muddy and right. wet. Well, you just want to simply carry it over. I think we should just simply carry it. I'll carry some. You carry some. Yeah. I think if you carry two at a time, because I carry three. Yeah. I can't, I haven't been able to back up to this dumpster since I've been getting dumpsters. <laughs> I know. Because this whole place is such a, uh, it's still. Huh? It's kind of hard to hold on to because it's painted steel. Yeah. But at some point, at some point, I'm gonna have to move the truck, and then I'm gonna have to close the door. Yeah. That's like another reason why I wanted to close it, because it's so slippery. So people would be like, "You could just take it to the scrap." Well, the scrap is gonna close in about 30 minutes. So. And and. And the, right now it's four o'clock. And the. Uh, four fifteen. And that truck isn't made. Well, yeah. It's in the best shape for that. No. It's a lot of traveling for nothing and for thirty dollars less per ton. Plus we have to fill the rest of this anyway. Besides I need to fill the rest of this. And and there's more to come, so Yeah. Why would we make multiple trips anyway? Shorter distance here too, less gas. Oh yes, less gas. So Let's wear a tear on the truck. Let's fence my worrying about it. I actually think some of these people that watch my channel are jealous or something. Yeah. I'm so jealous. Yeah. <laughs> something. I don't get it. There's nothing to be jealous of. I have nothing. And when I say that, then people go, you're always complaining. I'm always working. 
I don't have time to get this one. And if he complained all his life about every wrongdoing, then he would be nowhere in life. He wouldn't right. have us. I'd be at home. Now I'm doing nothing. And he would have taught us the wrong thing to do. Right. <clears throat> I think they've seen enough. Yeah. We're gonna knock the rest of this out. We're past and I'm like, whoa! How am I gonna get that out of there though? Look at that copper. Ooh. I will do anything for you, copper. Anything. Anything you ask. Anything. Anything you ask. That guy that leaves the pile outside of the dumpster. Wow. Red gold glory. I just couldn't pass it up. What'd you get? Red gold out of the dumpster. Copper? Copper. 